Hello folks, uh, some of you who may have seen my first video on this channel might remember me saying something about wanting to stretch and rake or do something about the front end on this bike. Well, I went ahead and done it with a friend of mine who works at a local bike shop and we did a little bit of fabrication. Uh, right now the bike is not put back together yet and I've decided to do a few changes as well as changing the geometry of the frame. Right now it looks like the frame has about a 35 to 40 degree rake, more, probably closer to 40 degrees. Seems like it's very comparable for a 10 over front end. Anyway, we, what we did is that we, instead of cutting on the neck, we made a, a pie cut down here in this area. and had a jack underneath the motorcycle we cut down here down here down here in this area chopped right there while it was standing straight up and we just lowered lowered the motorcycle the bottom half of the motorcycle until it was almost completely level I left a, I left about a half a half an inch or so between the front and the back and then added some tubing in, as well as slugs and welded it up and gave it about a about a three and a half inch lift right there. Welded this part up here. And on top of that, I've uh, gotten a different seat as opposed to the homemade seat that I have up here, along with some other seats that I've used on this bike. This is the last seat I had, it was a king queen seat that I made. It's the first seat that I had on here. And then that's the very first seat that came on the stock which I took the torch to the seat pan and uh, formed it to the shape of the bike in which it turned out to not be very comfortable but this is it right here I'm using a different tank I got this tank pretty cheap off of uh, Craigslist I got a petcock here and I've got a petcock over here on this side um, I went with this style because of clearance issues it's the only thing I could use but I went with two petcocks because the way the frame sits now it, it causes the the, uh, the tank to sit in such an angle and that if I were to only go with one petcock which is which would have been in the original petcock which was originally located right here which I plugged I wouldn't have gotten all the fuel out of the uh, tank so I decided to uh, make a bung, a solid bung to plug that and I made some bungs for here for, and a good friend over at where I, where I work at he TIG welded it for me so um, as soon as I figure out how to do the fuel lines or how I want to do the fuel lines I'm going to take this gas tank off and I'm going to take this all apart once I figure out how to do the fueling as well and take the motor out, take the seat off everything, take it down to the frame and I'm going to take it down to the shop where I work at and I'm going to sandblast the frame and then we're going to repaint it uh, with a better paint. I kind of cut corners on the kind of paint that I use uh, that I used on this frame. Uh, you sneeze at this paint that I used on this frame and then it chips. So, so the name of this paint, the manufacturer, the people who made this paint is called uh, Duplicolor. So it's, all, it's an already mixed paint uh, ready to go in the gun and, sh and to paint whatever it is you want. I strongly suggest do not use it. If you want a good quality paint, you're going to spend some money. This, this stuff was about $25 a quart, but you're going to get what you paid for, I promise you. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do with this frame, is I'm just going to repaint it with some good paint that we have at my shop, and then go from there. So I'll be posting another video about the, uh, about the Saddle Tramp Sickle. Hopefully it'll it'll turn out all right. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.